Hey everybody, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game three between Zeke and DeWalt. And I apologize for the audio on game one and game two of this set and potentially the other matches, the last series of matches. I'm realizing that I didn't have the audio. There's a weird thing where the desktop audio doesn't capture unless there's particular settings going on with the background, whatnot. Anyway, and also I'm real, there was an update to OBS which just throws everything off. Hopefully we're back to normal. Anyway, in this set, Zeke is up 2-0 over Dewalt, Fighting Spirit Mania, first set. A lot more games to play, obviously. But uh, Zeke, yeah, in firm control. He's just... Previous match showing that if Dewalt... Yeah, and I think it's kind of the same same of what Zeke does. Dewalt sending out those attack forces, overextending, and it turns around in a situation where Zeke can macro a bit and then get into his contained situations and just capitalize on DeWalt's overextensions. DeWalt, I like that he went for the Arbiter. However, Zeke doing a fantastic job of having just incredible vision. And I think that that's the trick with DeWalt is vision, 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 vision. Because his, that's his huge strength is just that army movement. Probe wandering forward. Looks like it is going to get a disruption. No additional drones coming off the line to support this. Going to drop that spawning pool. So it's going to turn into what look... So an, an attempt at a nine hatchery but instead morphing into a nine pool interestingly enough and ooh almost getting a dewalt serious about this now almost taking out that drone that drone wants to sit and become the hatchery now a little bit of a delayed mining time in the midst of this so a bit of economic disruption looks like we are seeing a movement towards forge first for dewalt which i think is a, yeah an important adjustment play after seeing what happened game one game two initial scouting drone Making its way across, Overlord has scouted, so that's going to send the drone back home. But the probe going to wander up. It's going to see that nine pool. Should force some cannons, although it's a little bit off timed. So I think he can get away with one cannon. This is where, uh, yeah, have to go back in the memory. I think he can get away with one cannon. Nexus second cannon. We'll see though. We'll see what Dewalt opts to do. Looks like he is going to go ahead and plop that first cannon down. Only four Zerglings being produced, so yeah, I think he can absolutely get away with it now. Hatchery being plopped down. So just with the four Zerglings, the one cannon should be sufficient, particularly if he opts to pull probes off the line. This probe, though, just a sliver away, does get taken out, which is going to put him into the dark. And early scouting information is huge. ZVP. Overlord sees that first cannon, the Nexus behind it. Gateway plopping down in front as well. The Zerglings, actually now six Zerglings, making their way across. Single Photon Cannon down. A second cannon might be necessary, because especially if there's no probes to blockade, it looks like some probes are coming off the line. Going to shoot the gap. Get on top of that. No, they're going to ignore the cannon. Just wander out to the main. The probe's not blocking the ramp. So now Zeke forcing DeWalt to pull a lot of probes off the line to try to engage these Zerglings in the main. They're trying to back them up, and this is a lot of lost mining time. Keep in mind, probes actually fight pretty well against Zerglings. Heads up, but this is, yeah, this is six probes worth... Six probes delayed, a pylon being dropped there to try to... And a, a wow, that getting taken out. In the meantime, Zeke has plopped down the six o'clock location. This, so nothing going right for DeWalt here. Does manage to pick off a Zergling there with his attack probes. Starting to back off. Is there a Zealot that's been produced? No Zealot as of yet. The Zergling's just going to sit idle... Let's see if they wander in and try to be a little bit more of a threat. Assimilator is there. Just going to attack the Nexus to try to be annoying. More probes coming off the line to try to engage this. Another probe down. And almost another Zergling picked off. The three probes. Nice micro on DeWalt. Just, yeah, really making these probes stick it to these Zerglings. Battle probes. At least like that aspect. Natural expansion is up. Starting to mine their Zealot coming off the line to potentially help deal with these Zerglings. It is going to just be a Zergling... But Zeke, off to the races, has already has already put down his Hydralis den. But in the midst of this, DeWalt just sneaking out with his own probe. And there's not going to be any... So additional Zerglings are being built. But there, this potentially could reveal a lot of information. Let's see if they're going to hold the ramp. Going to get up there? That looks like they're positioning. Attacking. So right now, DeWalt sees six drones at the natural expansion he's going to try to wander out to the third we already have two drones in position there 
but that does give indications towards a potential hydralis bus situation. So yeah, sees it, scouts it, sees the drone there, gonna wander back out. So Dwalt making the best of a bad situation. In the meantime, it looks like he has managed to clean up the Zerglings in his main. Stargate making its way online. Now, does Ziki, knowing that he's been scouted, oh, he does have hydro speed being upgraded, which might answer that question. I was going to say, does he still dedicate? So he's got, yeah, so 973 pure. Looks like a fourth drone being added. So potentially what he's going to do, though, and three Zelts marching out, classic Dewalt. So again, trying to find that pocket timing. However, this looks very reminiscent of last match. Upon seeing those six Zerglings, it looks like the Zealots are going to go ahead and back up. The Overlord, this time, scouts the, the Zealots as they're out on the field. Photon cannons being placed wisely. So Dewalt ahead of this. So four Zealots, three Photon cannons, potentially maybe four or five going to be required here to help defend this. Range being upgraded. But it looks like Ziki not fully dedicating to this. He's already, well, one, supply block, but two, dropped the hatchery out on his front door. Citadel of Adun down in the meantime, and I think that was before the Corsair was produced. Templar Archives and Forge there as well. The Hydalus trying to poke over the line and get some damage with without even range. And a Zergling also getting picked off. Wow, that felt like a little further fire than it should have been. <clears throat> Corsair wandering into the main, looking for overlords that it can hunt down. No overlords here. There are some overlords that are undefended. And actually, I don't see even any Hydalisks being spawned here. Let's see if... So he, he sees the fourth hatchery. Let's see if he plops down. Yeah, just gets to work. Finally, a Hydalisk. Two Hydalisks making their way back to push off that Corsair. Ziki. Is he going to go for that 9 o'clock base? He's moving up with this drone. I'm curious what that's about. Front door taking that free damage that all Zergs are given in the current versus Forge meta. Five cannons are out on the front. Robotics facility actually being placed straight out on the front as well. So Robo and a gateway, level one weapons being morphed behind the Ziki again, supply blocking himself, but is grabbing what looks like to be a fifth hatchery in the main evolution chamber down with some nice sim city and making his way to lair so i think he wants to try to go for a repeat of the previous match although a little bit different build order dewalt mixing it up however with that's kind of an interesting place for a gateway very early high templar and i think this is to facilitate rapid storm drops to try to slow ziki down and also open up things where he can maybe sneak out and uh defend additional bases double forge also wants to make sure he can maintain an upgrade advantage evolution chamber down looking at level one spines there is a spire being placed behind this corsair sneaking along that corner that spire needs to get scouted because again we saw ziki do that tech switch into mutalisk which really hurt the wall i like the zerglings kind of sneaking around doing what they can and with hydralisks a Again, not in position. That might be an... Is this going to be an Overlord kill? Certainly softening it up. Just doing the damage and backing out. Does manage to stay alive. But Ziki being a little bit... I'm not going to say it's cost him anything, but being a little bit reckless. Trying to engage this Hydralisk. Or sorry, the, the Corsair with the, the Hydralisk. Not quite able to catch it there. We do have the Shuttle and Storm Drops and a DT... In the midst of this, two additional, sorry, several additional gateways, four additional gateways. So we're going to go up to seven gates. The Zelt's pressing out. High Templar dropping a side storm. The shuttle looks like it got spotted, however. The Dark Templar dropping short. There is no Overlord to help out these Hydralisks. And holding that ramp, that is going to box these Hydralisks in. Unless they go from the south and go all the way around. So one Hydralis down. The Hydralis... Ooh, moving. Are they going to be able to catch that shuttle? And again, this... How does DeWalt do this? Just finds the thread. Okay, never mind. The Hydralis looks like they are going to scout the shuttle. They don't have any... So it looks like some Mutalists are being built in the main. But the Dark Templar has been dropped off here. This Overlord very slowly 
making its way. Big Psy Storm catching a good amount of drones there. And some other units. And it looks like the Dark Templar in the main. Not able to get a lot of kills, but able to disrupt a lot of mining here. Dark Templar still able to get kills. Two drones. Three drones. Four. Before getting cleaned up. So very successful attack there by DeWalt. Additional photon cannons going in his main and natural expansion to defend against the the turnaround of Mutalisks. I don't know if it's going to be in time or not, though. Ziggy delaying a little bit there, and this is plenty of Mutalisks to punch through the cannons that are there. And there's no High Templar to help defend this. Ziggy looking in firm control again. Dragoons starting to be built. Looks like additional Corsair being built. And you can just see how Ziki's playing this. He's like, okay, you're going to go tech. You're going to keep your Corsair units light. I'm going to go Mutalisk in response to that then. And catch you on the tech switch. Two Corsair are up in the air. Swinging around. But now Ziki... Let's see if he goes ahead and grabs a fourth behind this. Overlord Speed is there. He's morphing Lurker Tech. Level 1 Weapons is finished. Working on level 2. Level 1 Weapons, level 1 Armor here. For DeWalt with the Double Forge ahead. He might be able to sneak the upgrade advantage and hold that for the rest of the game. Now starting to bully his way forward to get ramp control. Ramp? Ramp control. That sounds like... I'm getting... What is the word for that? Where you say the word too many times and then it starts sounding weird? Ramp. The Mutalist looking for an opportunity to counterattack. Also might be able to swing around and catch. So this Overlord's going to get caught but reveals army location and the High Templar are going to get picked off by those Mutalisks. Although several Mutalisks lose their lives for it. The Hydalis now diving forward because Hydalis versus Dragoons is a pretty good exchange in situation. And Ziki also getting free Corsair hits and able to kill that Corsair on the retreat. Just a handful of Zerglings blocking out that third base. And DeWalt once again boxed into two bases. A huge amount of gateways. Filling it in with Zealots. And I'm wondering on the next upgrade, he does have observers a little bit more rapidly this time. The Hydalisks, or sorry, the Mutalisks able to wander in. Going to get a probe kill. And just with two Corsairs that have no weapons upgrade, this amount of Mutalisks able to do severe damage and wipe them out and fight heads up. Yeah, just able to pick it off. And Ziki looking in firm control of this match once again is going to go ahead and grab this fourth base in the bottom right-hand corner. A little bit behind in supply, behind in drones. But we'll see if DeWalt can turn this around. He does have level one weapons, level one armor, just versus level one spines. Lurkers aren't out in the field. The Mutalists are still here to potentially pick off that High Templar. Or two. DeWalt marching up, checking that nine o'clock location. Gonna go ahead and back out now that nothing's there. And he's barreling down into Ziki. In the midst of this, army's holding short. Ziki now has some lurkers out in the field. The observer is here. Needs to pattern this. The zealots are ending up on top of the lurkers initially. Great side storm, though. Catching a lurker and a grouping of hydalisks. And I think DeWalt might have a sizable enough army to punch through this and maybe walk over that natural expansion. Mules now grouping in. Side storm expended before those lurkers are able to burrow. Ziggy trying to kind of do a fold thing here to delay reinforcements, but a lot of Dragoons left and not a lot left from Ziki. Ziki down 40 supply all of a sudden. DeWalt with a very patient engagement there. Now marching to the natural expansion, there's a single sunk colony, but no lurkers. The Observer is still alive as well. The Zerglings trying to engage, but the Zealots are there to keep them off the Dragoon line. And Ziki in trouble. DeWalt doesn't have to worry about the Sim City. Some reinforcements trying to come in from the rear. One hatchery down. The, the sunk column down as well. Ziki moving in reinforcements, but reinforcements are careening down from the north as well from DeWalt. Pinning those Hydralisks into the army both directions. And Ziki realizing he can't hold back the tide calls GG. DeWalt takes game three with the upgrade advantage. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, this is going to be a great series. Fun one. Thanks for listening.